Welcome to Anato. In this video, I'll show you how to make a jack-o'-lantern in Blender. First, start Blender and click General to create a file. Press A to select all and ask to delete them. Press Shift plus A and select UV Sphere. Press Tab and select Edit Mode. Enter Edge Selecting Mode by pressing number 2 on the keyboard. Select an edge, just skip one after, select another, and repeat. After selecting the edges, press S to scale them. Then Control or Command plus B to create bevel. It will only add one more edge, so use the mouse wheel to create extra edge. Then select the middle ones and press S to scale. Enter the vertex selecting mode by pressing number 1 and select the top and bottom vertexes. Turn into proportional edit mode. Press S and Z to scale it horizontally. Use the mouse wheel to adjust. Move vertexes around until it looks like a pumpkin. Exit the edit mode. Press left quote and go to the top view. Click the cursor button and then click the top of the pumpkin to place 3D cursor there. Go to the front view, press Shift plus A and create a cylinder. It will be the pumpkin stock. Press S to scale it and G to move it. Enter edit mode. Select edges like we did for the pumpkin. When you are selecting edges at regular intervals, you can use the select more hotkey but I'll just do it myself. When you are done selecting edges, press S to scale. Select the top part, press S, Z, and 0 to align the vertexes. Enter the X-ray mode and do the same for the bottom. Now select the vertex on the top and press S to scale it up. Control, pl control plus R to create loop. Use mouse wheel to add extra loop. Select the vertexes on the top and turn on the proportional edit mode. Press R to rotate and use mouse wheel to adjust. Let's carve the lantern. Enter the edit mode and press K for the knife tool. Click and move the mouse around to cut. Press enter when you're done. Enter the face selecting mode by pressing number 3 and select all the faces that you'd like to delete. I'll leave out some squares as teeth. Make sure that you selected everything. Press X to delete the faces. Now do the same for the nose. The eyes are a little bit tricky. Delete a vertex and select the vertexes around it. Right click on it and select the loop tools, then circle. Do the same for the right eye. If you don't see the loop tools, go to the preferences to add it. Search for loop tools on add-ons, click to add, then save preference. Exit the edit mode. Go to modifier and select solidify to add some thickness to the pumpkin. Then add subdivision surface modifier.
Select both pumpkin and stuck and move them up a little. Let's reset the 3D cursor. Go to View and select Align View, then center cursor and frame all. Press Shift and A and create a plane. Scale it up and select two edges on the back. Press E and Z to extrude. Scale it around until you get nice background. Exit edit mode and add bevel modifier. It will smoothen the edge. Shift plus A and select cylinder. Press S and Z to scale it horizontally. Select the vertexes on the top and press I to create inner loop. Press E to extrude. Press E to extrude again and S to scale it up. Repeat extrude and scale until you get the candle flame shape. Press M to merge the top vertexes. Place it inside of the pumpkin. Change the view mode to render preview mode. Go to world properties and darken the color. Add an area light. Adjust the power and color of the light. Select the background and go to Material to add the color. Do the same for the other objects. I will assign three different colors to the candle object. First, hide the pumpkin and stuck by pressing H. Select Candle, go to Edit Mode, and press A to select all. Add Material, which is just plain white color. Enter the X-ray mode and select the middle part. Add light brown color and click Assign. Select the flame and add new color. Click Surface and select Emission. Set the color, adjust the strength, and click Assign. Add point light above the candle and adjust the power. Add a camera. Go to view, select align view, then align active camera to view. Go to alpha properties and change the resolution.
Now let's add some decorations to the scene. Create a cube. Scale the top. Go to object mode, add the subdivision surface modifier. Control plus R to create loop cuts. Move and scale the loops. Press number three to enter the face selecting mode. Assign white color to the top part. Select the middle part and assign the light yellow color. Select the bottom and add orange color. Right click on the candy corn, then select the shade smooth. Scale it down a little. Let's decorate the scene. It'd be easier if you divide the screen and use different viewports. Move the mouse to corner of the screen and drag to add another viewport. If you made a mistake, just right click on the line between viewports and select join areas. I use three viewports for top, front, and camera view. Select the candy corn and press Shift plus D to duplicate. Now decorate the scene. G to move and R to rotate. When you're finished and ready to render, set all the viewports to the solid mode. You need to save it before the rendering process, in case of crashing. Change the render engine to Cycles. Press Ctrl plus B and drag the part that will be rendered. Go to Render Properties and check the boxes on the Denoise section. Go to Color Management and change the loop to High Contrast. Add another light if needed. I didn't like the reflection on the ground, so I increased the roughness for material. Press F12 to render.
click image to save the image file. That was it for today. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.